Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brian Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from Fairy Loot. So please stay tuned. I'm back and if you're new to my channel welcome um today i'll be sharing with you an unboxing of fairy loot this is my very first box that i have bought um from fairy loot and i'm very excited to see what is in store in this beautiful box so here is the box right here and then on the side it says my books my treasure um so let's go ahead and get started opening it so as i open it this is what it looks like with the beautiful design and then it says these who don't believe in magic will never find it by uh, and that's by rolled a uh, doll so it's pretty cool i like the little butterflies and everything on it it's pretty cool so as i fully open it this is what it looks like inside so the theme for this box is Wicked Hearts, and this is the October box. So here's the little print right here. Sorry about the glare, but here it is right here. It's pretty cool, I like that a lot. And I believe this is a spoiler card, which I'll be referencing on um, who pretty much did all, or made all these items in here. So I'm gonna take this out here and place it somewhere so it doesn't get too messy. Okay, so the first thing I see, it looks like some playing cards. It says Wicked Hearts, whoops. <laughs> and this is what it looks like right here. Pretty cool, I like that. And then here's that. So let's go ahead and see, here, let me do this. There we go, so not so bright, but there's that. Okay, and then let me go ahead and open this so we can see what the playing cards look like once I take them out, if I can get them out of this package. <laughs> okay, so I finally got the plastic off. So this is what it says right here, Wicked Hearts playing cards. It has like a heart design and everything like that. And here is the back of the box. And then on the side, it says inspired by the beautiful, the shadows between us, sorcery of thorns and even the darkest stars. So that's what it says there. And then let me see, when I open it. Oops. So as I took them out of the box, I got a couple of them. So here is the Joker, that design right here. It looks pretty cool. I do like that, love that. And then we have the Queen. And I haven't read Sorcery of Thorns. So I'm guessing these are the characters, obviously. Here's the King, right here. Here is a Queen and another king and here is an ace just like this so that's pretty cool i do like these like i'm not sure i have a lot of playing cards so now like i don't know i like to play speed or spades those are some really cool like some comp competitive games <laughs> with cards so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to uh going to be using these eventually i don't know when but probably real soon since the COVID, who knows, the U.S. might shut down again. Maybe, maybe not. We should, but who knows what we're going to do at this point. And then it looks like that all shimmery in the box. So that's pretty cool. So I do like that. So who created these beautiful and gorgeous cards? Let's see. Um, so the foiled, so it says the gorgeous foiling playing cards um, include artwork from four amazingly wicked fandoms. You can spot characters from The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, The Beautiful by Renee Audier, um, Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and even The Darkest Stars or Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. We think at ours 28 has done such an am amazing job illustrating the cards, and we really hope you love them. So these are those are the people that illustrated these cards. So I love these cards. Definitely plan on using these to play some games. And my kids love, you know, I can also use these for educational purposes as well, since my daughter is in kindergarten and she's learning how to write her numbers and everything like that. So these will come in handy. Then the next thing here, ooh, I see socks. Oh goodness, let me get this stuff off of them first. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so it says vampire hunter socks. Ooh, so we got some socks. This is what it looks like, some ankle socks. So let's see who created these ones right here. I love when I get socks out of boxes because I definitely use them to keep my feet warm. Um, so for the boxes, bookish socks are a necessity, especially when the air chills. We hope you love this pair inspired by the Sassy Castle Castlevania series series and designed by the wonderful at Jizzhawk. So yeah, so we got some socks. 
Next thing I see is a box. I think it's a puzzle. So here's a box right here. Uh, and it is a puzzle. It says Jax from the Carvel series. It's a uh, 100 pieces Ill illustrated by um, Salt Tees. So it is a puzzle. And this is what the puzzle looks like. So we have that. And for the puzzle, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's see. It says, looking for something to do while you're listening to an audiobook? A bookish puzzle might be just what you're looking for. Once completed, it will display a portrait of Jax from Caraval by Stephanie Bar Garber, which is illustrated by Salties. So yeah, we have this puzzle, which I'm sure my kids would love to do with me. So we got this. Next thing, oh, Star Wars. We got some stickers. Oh God. So we have some stickers. Oh, I love Star Wars so much. I'm a huge fan. Oh my gosh, just look at these. Oh, love this so much. So for the stickers, it says, hearts don't get more wicked than um, than that of Kylo Ren from Star Wars. We're including a sheet of Kylo Ren stickers for you to enjoy. They've been illustrated by the talented Saint Dree. So yay, we got some stickers so I can just put something on them. I don't know if I'm, where I'm gonna use them, but I'll put them on something. Then the next thing I see here, ooh. It says, Kingdom of the Wicked Salt and Pepper Shakers. So it comes in this gorgeous box right here with a snake and everything on the side. Ooh, look at that moon. Oh, this is gorgeous. And it says, by earth, moon, and stone, bless this hearth, bless this home. And it's ceramic salt and pepper shakers. It's a set of two. Um, it says, before first use, please clean the shakers with water and let them dry. Not suitable for dishwasher, dishwasher use. Um, and it's... Uh, it was made and designed by uh, Nova, uh, Nova and Tail. So when for Nova and Tail, let's see for this pepper shakers. So it says, we hope you love this gorgeous set of salt and pepper shakers that showcase a stunning design by Novel Tail and Foil. The, qu the quotes are from our featured book of the month, which is anything but bland. So your food shouldn't be either. So let's open them up so you can see what that looks like. Ooh, see. Oh, wow. Wow, this is pretty cool. So you just fill it up at the bottom. So here's that. And here's the little quote that it was saying that it has on them. Oh, I love the design there. It's so pretty. I do love it so much. And then on the quote, what it says in the, on the box, it says, by earth, moon, and stone, bless this hearth, bless this home. So yay. And I think they both might say the same thing. Yeah, they say the same thing. This one has a snake on it. Oh, so this is cool. I do love this so much. Oh, this is gorgeous. I do love these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them or just use them for display, but I don't know. We'll see what I decide. And then the next thing here, I think this might be the enamel pen. Ooh, and it says, it is my, it is my turn to use, it is my turn to use, my turn to hate. And it's like a, and it says the Young Elites enamel pen. And it looks like it's a, a star alignment plus a wolf and a moon. So here is the enamel pen. That looks pretty cool. I do like this so much. And then the enamel pen, who created the enamel pen? It says, we just had to include an item inspired by the Young Elites by Mary Lou. This beautiful enamel pen has been designed by the talented Alchemy and Ink. So we have that. So we got an enamel pen, which I believe comes in a box in their boxes each month. So there's that. Then we have some tarot cards. So it says nine of swords and ten of swords. So we got some tarot cards right here. And I'm not sure who this is by. Okay, so it says this month's featured tarot cards are the nine and ten of swords. They are designed by the very talented Arts 28 and are inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, which I haven't read, but plan on reading next year. So we have these right here. And then finally, we're getting to the book, which comes in a little baggie. And it says, happy reading. And then it also has the design of the fairy loot emblem right here. So let's open it up and see what book is inside. Ooh, it has spray edges, black spray edges. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything's falling out. Okay, oh wow. So, wow, so here is artwork. And I believe this is the note from the author. Hmm. So, let, and so the book is 
Wicked, Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie uh, Monscalco. Ooh, look at this cover. It's purplish. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And this is an exclusive Fairy Loop cover. And then look at the edges, they're black. Oh, oh my gosh, this has, oh wow. They outdone themselves. This is stunning. Just look at the flowers. Oh my God. Oh my God, like see, look. And then boom, just hits you like that, like that. Oh my God, this is amazing, sorry. Ooh, and then it comes with, um, and it's signed by the author with a book plate. So we have that as well. Oh man, these are, it is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And then in the book, it has the map and everything inside. And if I take the dust jacket off, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that is pretty. And it has a reversible dust jacket. So this is the book. Oh man silver foiling that much oh wow 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 and then if i take it and if you take a look this is what it looks like on the reverse side which is so beautiful but look at that that's a beautiful oh i love this so much and i cannot wait to read this eh! i'm probably gonna end up reading this next year though just just to be honest with you oh my gosh this is wow I'm really like shocked. Like I'm telling you, like this is my first fairy loot box, and I'm enjoying it so much. So I'm definitely going to continue with this subscription, like all the way 100 with you. Um, so let's see what it says here. So it says two sisters, one murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. Amelia and her twin sister Victoria have been inseparable all their lives. As strength witches who exist secretly among humans, they know the dangers of drawing attention and work at their family's renowned Sicilian restaurant, avoiding notice and persecution. But one night, Vittoria doesn't come home, and it's not long before a distraught em Emilia discovers the body of her beloved twin, desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia vows to find her sister's killer and seek vengeance at any cost, even if it means calling upon a dark magic that has been long forbidden. Then Amelia meets Wrath, one of the wicked princes of hell she has been warned against since she was a child. Wrath claims to be on Amelia's side, tasked by his, ma his master with solving a series of murders on the island, of which Victoria is the latest victim. But when it comes to the wicked, nothing is as it seems. So this sounds like a really good read. I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. I believe I got this uh, um, this book too, a different edition um, from the Bookish Box. But I do like this cover a lot better, I will say. Um, it's really beautiful. I do like it. So I like love the accent of the purple in it and the snake with the purple. It's just amazing. It, I love it really much. And it looks very wicked and gory and scary and witchy-like, which I love. So we have that. And then... Ooh, it says next month's theme is enemies to lovers. So we have that. So I'll share with you that in a minute. Um, but first, let me go ahead and read the note from the author herself on what she has to say. And it says, Dear Fairy Lit readers, the first seeds of the story began in 2015. Back then it was set in ancient Rome and featured two characters who absolutely hated each other. I'm a huge fan of the enemies to lovers trope and while the setting and much of the story has changed, that element remained. Amelia and Raph's dynamic um, is one of my favorite parts of the story and I hope you love it too. Adore, adore dark heroes with questionable motives, heroines who go after what they want, and morally gray characters, all of which you'll find in this book. While reading this stunning exclusive edi edition of Kingdom of the Wicked, my hope is for you to simply enjoy yourself for a few hours and to find the perfect escape. XOXO Carrie. So that's what it says here. I do like reading the um, author's notes because I think it could be inspiring to me, but it also could be inspired to you as well. So we have that. And then let's see, we have a nice little booklet. It says enter at your own peril. Um, so I believe this is like the, a deleted chapter. Ooh, a deleted chapter from the kingdom of the wicked. So no one else will have this deleted chapter. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. So I'm definitely going to be reading this chapter and it says one. So I believe this is chapter one or was a deleted one. So, ooh, oh, this is, oh, this is so nice. I'm loving this. Ah! And even on the back, it says, whatever you do, you must never speak to the wicked. If you see them hide. Once you're caught a demon prince's attention, 
He'll stop at nothing to claim you. They are midnight creatures born of darkness and moonlight and they seek only to destroy. <sighs> this sounds a book like I definitely want to pick up next year for sure. I already have something planned for next month. Maybe I can fit this one in next month maybe <laughs> hopefully yeah I have so many books I want to finish out before the end of the year is out so it's going to be really complicated and hard for me to get all of them packed in before the year is out to be honest and especially in the U.S. and the states Thanksgiving is right around the corner so I might feel like for that week when Thanksgiving comes up especially Black Friday I won't be reading as much so I'm already like pushing myself this month just to get my TBR going but yeah so then we have uh, the Fairy Scoop Wicked Hearts, October 2020, and it gives you the author's interview. Um, and it says, this edition of Kingdom of the Wicked comes with exclusive cover, uh, stencil spray edges, printed signature on title page, artwork on reverse of dust jacket, foil design on the hardcover, and signed book plate and bonus chapter. Um, so it gives you information about the author herself in this. And a questionnaire by the author and then it tells us next month's theme is enemies to lovers we are so excited to reveal the november theme for our monthly box and it is enemies to lovers this entire theme is inspired by one of our favorite tropes ever we love a good enemies to lovers story the slower the burn the better it leaves so much room for angst and tension when the main characters begin as enemies and cannot stand each other or better yet if they are trying to kill each other but also can't help their growing attraction and feelings you can expect items inspired by the cruel prince shatter me the wrath and the dawn a song of race and ruin and angel and angel fall we're going to be revealing two things about this box the first is that the cruel prince item features artwork by the incredible rosie thorn 88 and the second is that there will be a set of stunning foiled bookmarks inspired by serpent and dove a court of thorns and roses the iron face series and the book of the month stay tuned for the artist reveal in the coming weeks and it says our featured books book of the month is a heart-stopping imaginative um imaginative romeo and juliet retelling set in 1920s shanghai with rival gangs and a master in the depths of the hungpu um river we have gone all out again with customizations this month this edition will have an exclusive cover sprayed edges artwork on the verse of the dust jacket by uh, Manolo Lamart, a full design on the hardcover by Taratage and a printed signature on the title page. It will also come with a signed book plate and an annotated chapter. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it says, join the um, Instagram October box um, photo challenge. So on December 7th is unboxing. Uh, December 8th is pen and salt and pepper shakers. December 9th, playing cards. December 10th, keynote of the Wiccan art print. And it says, don't forget to tag your photos with fairy a uh, photo 43 so this is pretty cool they have these little challenges i like that and it says we we can be we can be enemies or lovers we can suffer or we can rule and that's said by skade the last kingdom so i'm definitely looking forward to next month's book uh in next month's box so i'm very excited about that um but that is it you guys that is all what came in this amazing stunning box and so I really hope you enjoyed this video of mine. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.